Can I just get your name, please? Kevin Davis. Kevin, this is Michael with Investigations. Hey, Michael. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? You have a great, great weekend? Uh, you know, worked it. Worked it. It's here all day, so no, uh, <laughs> no weekend for me yet. I hear you. A uh, couple couple things to add to you. Um, Christopher Mitchell posted another video uh, claiming he won. He didn't show chips this time, claiming he was in Vegas. Reno went on a 14-minute story about how he won $51,000 profit. Um, and again, he doesn't show the chips, but you'll understand now that he's committing wire fraud. That's his whole channel for three years has been about wire fraud. Um, and that's not you guys, but again, what he did, what he did, uh, showing the chips, that's a form of anti-money laundering as well as aiding to his, uh, his, uh, wire fraud scheme. And that, that's, that's kind of what I was getting at you the other day, even though it's not your, your, uh, your concern or your problem. Um, but I just wanted to get that out there. And, uh, number two, I asked, when I asked you the other day, um, about would you inform me, uh, you know, about what's going on, and, and we both agreed, you know, you can't do that, and I understood. Uh, what I meant was, I know you look, you got other properties, and uh, and also uh, casinos look out for one another, and they'll share information. Um, yeah. So if, uh, not, I, I wouldn't say if, um, my opinion is not if, but when you find out he's doing wrongdoing, uh, would you... You got you'd more than likely share that information throughout your other casinos and help out other casinos because instead of me do you know doing all the legwork and warning these casinos everywhere he go he films um, and you know spending another forty minutes forty minutes on wasting uh, investigators time and stuff like that then um, no yeah it, it, that's that's one of the things that yeah the standard practice is since. Oops, sorry. Technically, the investigators are corporate employees. We don't we don't answer to the property specifically. Mm -hmm. So everything we do is, in, as far as MGM Resorts is concerned, it's the whole corporation. So it's mm -hmm. not just Bellagio that we're looking at. It's Bellagio, Aria, Vidara, you know, MGM, all of them basically are within are under our purview, um, as well as we sit on a a board with every investigator for all of Las Vegas. So um, it's one of those things where the information will get out and it, it'll, it'll get to the appropriate people at other properties to see if we can turn, you know, uh, one crime into 30 crimes, that kind of thing. Uh, because if people are committing crimes on one property, they like, they're likely to commit those same crimes at other properties. So we would take that information and disseminate the the available information or the, the information that we can share with these other people to kind of do their own research and and come to a conclusion. Oh, so you would use the fire wire fraud crime against them? Well, I don't know if it would be like if we would get like that would be something that like the FBI or somebody. Would yeah, 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 yeah. But you where we would go as far as any crimes against. MGM Resorts. So if he was, if we found evidence of money laundering, then we would, you know, that automatically gets sent to um, the FBI, mm -hmm. and it gets sent to the Gaming Control Board. And if there's other nefarious activity, if he's, if he's utilizing um, practices that prevent him from. Like if he were to cash out nine thousand bucks instead of the ten thousand dollars, right? He's been yeah, he's been doing that. That technically falls uh, below the threshold, but if we can show a pattern of him doing that on multiple occasions, then we can show that he is circumventing the the, the appropriate um, the the laws to 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 gain um, an advantage, and therefore that's another crime that he's committed. So you know all those things we would present. Um, to the appropriate authorities, whether it be the police, the FBI, or the gaming control mm -hmm. board. Um, I'm just saying, in, in matters to like say, um, well, and here's another reason why we wouldn't want them on our properties is it's not 
our it's not our department, but he's been doing this uh, YouTube channel. Uh, wire fraud is is using a uh, means of internet communication, which he's doing, and uh, to purposely, knowingly deceive, uh, creating schemes to defraud viewers out of their money, which is exactly what that channel is doing. Um, hey, uh, Kevin, can I call you right back? My boss is on the other one. All right. Investigations is Michael. Make it really quick. Um, he posted the video. Uh, says 51,000 profit. And on his Facebook page, uh, he said 35,000 of that came from Bellagio this weekend. Yeah, it says, uh, in Las Vegas, the Bellagio Casino. My first session, $5,000 profit. Second session, $5,000 profit. Third session, lost $10,000. Fourth session, $10,000 profit. Fifth session, $5,000 profit. Sixth se session, $10,000 profit. Seventh session, $10,000 profit. I doubt that happened. It's very convenient yeah. that, that it's the same, but it goes with the, the storyline of uh, sto of him committing this wire fraud. Of him going into your, uh, being in the casinos and doing those chips and all that stuff. He didn't do it on this video. Uh, so... But he's using your the, your casinos as a platform. Yeah, and our legal department will send him to cease, uh, cease and desist orders on that part. Mm -hmm. um, it, it doesn't. But in three years, he scammed over two million dollars from people with this crap. He's an asshole. This, yeah, these these scammers all over the place. Yeah, but over the last three years, I mean, I tried to alert all the. Uh, security and or yeah and uh they said they'd take care of it some of them some security was just like flat out rude says that's not us and he, they like they wouldn't put me in the proper connections i mean i got all the uh calls uh documented and what was said and all that stuff so or anything like that. He didn't show like a table. Uh, I'll have to watch the video, but um, it, you didn't see anything that kind of stuck out to you other than just what he's claiming? Yeah. Yeah, normally he always does. I don't know if my video scared him off. Um, but like I said, it transferred to... Um, this falls under his wire fraud, which again, it's not you, but, um, you know, wire fraud claims saying that, you know, so it's false claims that he's doing this. So his people will buy, continue to pay him money. But you do have all, all those other videos of the other times of him doing it. Table with the chips on the table. Saw that. 
well, there's other videos throughout. And then I have uh, his other channel got terminated from YouTube. It takes forever for them to act on it. For you, for yeah, actually two channels scammed. I have uh, old videos of him doing the chip profits, um, and I can go through them too if you need them. All right, thanks, Mike. No worries. Have a great one. Investigations, this is Michael. Hey, Mike. This is Kevin. Um, I, there was a video he did post. It's under, if you go to his YouTube channel and you click uh, Shorts, shows, but he bought in at the Bellagio saying he bought in for 10000 and he profited 9500 and he shows the chips, Bellagio chips. Or the 9,500 profit, 45 minutes gambling in Las Vegas, that one? Yeah, he posted it just four hours ago, and it was from this weekend. Okay. All right, I got it. I appreciate the heads up. All right, man, just trying to help you do some leg right. work. Yeah, no, thank you. All right, have okay. a good Thanks. Bye. Bye.